Hello everybody, and today is uh, June 25th. Uh, welcome to Enjoy the Movies, where I, Nam, put in my two cents about movies. Sorry to say I've actually been away for a while. Uh, last couple weekends I did some things, went down to Virginia, went up to Canada, visited a friend for her birthday, go to a cousin's wedding, and also have my brother's birthday. So, uh, needless to say, I haven't been around to do these movie reviews. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, though, I'm behind about 14 or so movies, so I definitely need to catch up. Needless to say, I've been saying needless to say a lot, but uh, anyway, so forget about that. Let's just dive right in. Uh, a bunch of the movies I have to talk about are Semi-Pro, The Onion Movie, The Other Bolin Girl, and The Eye. Now, uh, a while ago, I ended up watching all of these movies, and uh, most of them weren't that great. So let's just start with Semi-Pro. Uh, this is... A comedy movie starring Will Ferrell. Uh, supposed to be a comedy movie. In my personal opinion, it's more of a drama movie with a lot of stupid Will Ferrell antics. So he does his stupid Will Ferrell antic things, and it turns out to be more of a drama with him doing stupid things in it. So uh, if you don't know the premise of this movie, Will Ferrell's character, Jackie Moon, is actually a singer gone basketball player with his own basketball team. And if you ever saw the spoiler... So that movie where you see him sitting around with a bunch of other people deciding, oh, which teams are going to go into the NBA and the rest of the league is going to dissolve. And he basically ends up trying to promote all of these things so that his team can go. But uh, if you end up watching the movie, it's okay. I think it's slightly amusing. It's actually not terrible, but it's not great. And if you're looking for laughs, you definitely should not watch this movie. Um, overall, I actually thought the movie was fairly decent. I'd probably say if you're looking for a drama-ish kind of movie with stupid antics, so if you like some of the other Will Ferrell movies as of late, um, not all of his movies have been that great in my personal opinion, but uh, I think he's still a good actor because he takes everything over the top. So, it's okay. I'm not going to say it's a thumbs down, but it's definitely not a thumbs up. So, watch it if you feel like you, you want to watch that sort of thing. Alright, anyway, next movie I want to talk about is The Onion Movie. Now, this movie is based upon the uh, Onion website, which basically reports the news. And what ends up happening is it's pretty much a series of small skits stuck together as though it's being played on TV. So they have uh, TV skits, too. Uh, well, commercial skits. So it's as though you're watching a TV and things happen on it. And there's this plot of like things that happen in the newsroom. But overall, it's slightly amusing, but I definitely don't recommend it. It's not really that great. I didn't like it that much. I laughed a few times, but that's because I'm e easy to amuse. And I laugh at pretty much everything, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, definitely didn't like this movie. Didn't think it was that great. So the Onion movie, I'm going to say thumbs down. Uh, sorry I'm so calm and... I'm not really excited today because I'm really tired. Uh, I started my new job and working eight hours a day, you know, full-time job. So, anyway, uh, next movie I want to talk about: The Other Bolin Girl. Uh, this movie is a slightly interesting movie. It stars Natalie Portman and Scarlett Johansson, both very attractive women, um, and at certain angles might kind of look like sisters. So maybe that's why they were chosen to play the roles, but they have different colored hair. So, uh, but anyway. So I digress. Uh, let's forget about the women. Okay, I can't forget about the women. It's about the women. So it's about these two women and uh, their brother and how they get involved in this strange plot for uh, trying to take over a kingdom, pretty much. Not really that simply, because there's a lot of drama that goes on and a little bit of antics, and one sister is a little bit more evil than the other, and the other one has a conscience. And Anyway, uh, done in the old Victorian or not Victorian, colonial, I don't even know what the word is, but it's done in that old style way back when. And, uh, you know, lords and ladies, princes and princesses, and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I thought this movie was very slow, it's pretty boring, but the plot is actually really solid. So if you like uh, intrigue or political type things, it's probably worth a watch, and you like it anyway. If not, the, you know, two women are great actresses. Like, the, the entire movie, great acting, great dialogue. It's just slow as hell. So, I'm going to say it's actually a good movie. I didn't really enjoy it that much, though. So, um, 
I don't know whether they give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. So in certain situations like this, it's always hard. So I have to, you know, kind of draw the line somewhere. But uh, I'm probably going to say it's actually a good movie. It's actually really well done. It's, it's just boring and, and slow, which, you know, I, you've seen movies like these before, so. <clears throat> anyway, last movie I want to talk about, just to get things rolling so I can start uh, cutting away at this long stack of movies to catch up with, The Eye, uh, starring Jessica Alba. Now... This movie, not sure if you ever heard of the original Eye, which I had done a preview for a long time ago, or not a preview, a review uh, with of um, foreign Asian horror for films. Uh, I think I said it was like Japanese or something, but it's actually Chinese, the original one. So this movie, The Eye, the American Eye, takes pretty much almost everything directly from the original Chinese version, and what ends up happening is. I actually thought the movie was pretty good. It's not scary at all, though. Uh, there's a couple surprises. And Jessica Alba is just way too pretty, so if you get scared at any moment, you just look at her, and it's like, oh, it's everything. Everything's okay. So, needless to say, this movie I didn't think was original at all, because it pretty much took all the elements from the original eye, which was good, and I enjoyed the original eye, and pretty much put it in English, with uh, you know a couple of minor detailed changes, just you know for logi logistical purposes, and that's pretty much it. So I thought the movie itself wasn't bad, but it's just not original. So I want to say that the movie was okay. Uh, if you like horror films, this isn't really scary, but if you like a good story, definitely recommend. Uh, more of like a, a mystery movie, in my personal opinion. So. And Jessica Alba's acting in this one was, eh. Like, I don't think she had any special roles or any special, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I had so many brain farts today. She didn't have any uh, special scenes where she she did anything outstanding or great or anything over the top. So, I want to say that the eye was okay. So, if you're huge horror fan, probably thumbs down because it's not scary at all. If you like good drama, good story, good mystery, thumbs up. Everybody else, if you care, watch it. Otherwise, just forget about it because it's not really that important. I mean, it follows along with all of the other movies that have been coming out that are all horror movies. So, can't say I've seen many of them, but, you know, The Mist, One Missed Call, stuff like that. Alright, um, so that wraps up today's episode, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more out soon. Sorry for the two-week delay, because <laughs> I've been busy. But anyway, you guys have a good night. Enjoy the movies.